But let's take a look how to make another chrome text effect here in Photoshop. All right, so this is my artboard size. And I'm going to go with the Nikka Gothic variable condensed oblique. And this is an Adobe font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And from here, let's go to the text layer and double click on it. And first, we're going to go to the bevel and emboss activated. We're going to go with inner bevel, smooth, depth 1000, direction up. I'm going to decrease the size, so around 16, softness. I'm going to go with 5-ish, shadows 90 by 30, gloss contour. Change it to this one, highlight mode normal, shadow mode normal, white black. I'm going to increase the highlight mode to 100%, shadow mode to 50%. Now let's go and activate the inner shadow. Opacity should be on 100, black normal, angle 90 degrees, distance 0, choker 0. And the size, I'm going to go and increase it somewhere around 70. Let's activate the gradient overlay. The blend mode is going to be normal, opacity 100. I'm also going to activate the reverse. And if you click on the gradient, black should be on the left, white should be on the right. Click OK. I'm going to go to the style and change it to diamond. And I'm going to change up the angle to zero. The scale is going to be on 150%. And the method, we're going to change it to linear. Let's go and click OK. Now go to the adjustments. Let's select the curves. And I'm going to increase the left side all the way somewhere here. And I'm going to go to the right side, decrease it down somewhere at this point. Now let's go back to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map, click on the gradient. And I'm going to make the white black, click OK. And I'm going to go here somewhere in the middle, click on it, create a new handle, click on the color. I'm going to make this yellow, click OK. Add another one next to the yellow. I'm going to make this green. Click OK. And the next one is going to be perp. Click OK. And bring the black somewhere here. Adjust the handles like so. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to create some noise on it. Press and hold Alt. Click on the new layer. Click. Rename it as noise. Go to the mode. Change it to overlay. Make sure to check this box. Click OK. Right click on the noise layer, convert to smart object, go to filter, noise, add noise, make sure to uncheck the monochrome. I gotta go somewhere around 20, maybe 16, click OK. And that was it for today. Thanks for watching.